Bueno, ya vale. Bienvenidos al Game Club del JB. Eh, hoy os presento el final de, de Terminator Resistant. Eh, un juegazo que recomiendo, si no lo, si, si, si no lo habéis jugado, eh, os lo recomiendo totalmente porque es un, y si os gusta la saga Terminator porque está basado en las dos primeras películas. Y como ven aquí, estamos siguiendo a John Connor que ahora nos va a explicar una cosa. Eh, y aquí llegamos al final de lo que es el, el juego. Pues nada, ya vale, espero que os guste. Y nos vemos en el siguiente vídeo. Eso sí. Sayonara, bye. First sector is secured. All right, Rivers. Continue the offensive. Preparing to send in the tank.
on that T-47. Watch out! Zero in on that T-47! Another sector cleared. That's good to hear, Sergeant. The ATK tank just went online. You've got to keep going.
47 ahead! Two of them! Sergeant, I got a visual on the defense grid turrets. Defense grid, Commander. Good. That HK will accompany you. Receive forward. Remember, this is not over yet. Check your fire! That tank is ours!
side is trying to activate the time displacement equipment. They know they're going to lose this war. You need to hurry! Everyone, on me! This is it! That's the lab they keep the time displacement thing! Spread out! Commander, what's going on? The 124 destroyed the Central Core and stopped Skynet. So is the war over? For some of us, yes. But just before we destroyed the Core, Skynet managed to send three Terminators back in time. The only thing in our power now is to send the Protectors to meet them. Protectors? The 
ones that will assure the safety of the people marked for termination. The first protector has to be Sergeant Kyle Reese. He'll go after the T-800 that's targeting my mother as we speak. By killing her, Skynet will try to erase me from ever existing. The second one will seek to destroy the T-1000. T-1000? A Terminator made of mimetic polyalloy, sent back to kill me as a child. A single prototype created by Skynet. It's too powerful for a single human being. That's why we'll have to send a Terminator of our own. Do you have that CPU that Mac reprogrammed? I do. You want to send a Terminator to protect your younger self? Won't you be afraid? I will be. Then, there's the matter of the infiltrator that was sent after you. The war can end for you right now, but the question is, are you willing to sacrifice your future to protect your past? By being here, you've already proven that this is not beyond your capabilities. But I'll leave the decision up to you. Will I be able to fix my past mistakes? I always believe that the future's not set. There's no fate but what we make for ourselves. You do have the power to change it, and protect the ones you care about. So, what will it be then? I'll do it. I'll go back. I will. Tell my wife to kill me this time. Let us begin then. John Connor prepared the time displacement equipment to send protectors back in time. He knew that the final battle would not be fought here, but in the past. A resistance soldier named Kyle Reese was the first man to go back, to 1984. His objective was to protect Sarah Connor, John's mother. The second one was not a man, but a Terminator. Using the chip Dr. Mac reprogrammed, we took control of a single infiltrator unit, Cyberdyne Systems Model 101. It was sent back to 1995, to intercept the sole T-1000 prototype and protect a young John Connor. I couldn't have someone risk their life to protect me. That's why I decided to go myself. It gave me a chance to right the wrongs of my actions. After 30 years, this war against the machines is finally over. But not all of us live to see the end of it. We never found Baron's body in the shelter. She never stopped fighting. And if she's still alive, I doubt she ever will. She was the leader we needed in wartime. But I'm not sure if she'll find a place during this time of peace. I lied to Aaron about her husband to make her leave the shelter. I saved her life, but at what cost? Was it my place to intervene and give her false hope? Ryan stayed in the shelter and died. He was a good man with a good heart. Jennifer and Patrick left before the attack. I'm glad I convinced her to leave. I hope that our paths will cross sometime soon. Baron asked me to kill Mac, but I couldn't do it. He left soon after my warning, only to be captured by Skynet. We found him alive in one of Skynet's prisons. As for me, it was time to start over.
listen to me if you want to live.